All right, now we have sensor data. We have a hardware setup or an event setup. And now we have to just get the information from here to trigger this to light the LED. All right, have we, ask yourself, have we done this already? Well, we have, it's um, digital right. We just have to go back to our digital right and then we also have to go to chapter five, which is an if statement, right? Right. Okay, so what are we saying here? Well, we're saying that we have a pin and it has to be an output. Pin mode. In this case, we got nine this time being the output. Before we had two being the output. So any of those can be inputs and outputs. Doesn't really matter. Perfect. Now, if I stated this was an input or didn't state this at all, the LED would still light up. The difference is it would be very dim. Okay, so that needs to be in place. All right, let's put some lines in between here. We still want to read this sensor data, but now we're going to have to ask it a question or say, if something happens, what is going to happen because of it? So if sensor data or sensor value in this case, is let's say less than 425. And I showed you those numbers in the last video. So that's the data coming in here and me waving my hand over it and I got 425. So if it's less than 425, we need it to do something, do work for us. We open up a bracket and what are we gonna say? Well, we're gonna say digital write it. Did you write pin nine high? Then close that out. Then we'll write that little bit of code. Oop, and we forgot our closing bracket. There we go. I always forget those stupid things. Remember, even amount of brackets equals good in life. Odd number equals error right off the bat. Okay, there we go. Let's see what happens when the spark plug fires and my hand goes over the top of this sensor. Oh, there it is. Hand goes over the top, light turns on. Perfect. How do we get the light to turn off? Well, remember, there's another thing that we learned in chapter five and that was the else. So else, something else is gonna happen. We're going to copy this one. And write it low. Then close out that bracket. Let's write the bit of code. Transfer the bit of code. And again, let's wave our magical hand over the top of this. Light stays on. I release, light goes off. Perfect. <laughs> so that is how you turn something on via sensor. It's as easy as that. What we now have to learn in the next chapter is how we clean up the data a little bit. And because, you know, it, it's nice to have uh, a few hundred change on things, but really I like a finite number more. So I like the numbers like zero to 50 rather than uh, 225 and 700, whatever. So 
we're going to learn how to clean up some data. Let's choose the same experiment and it's going to be a smaller chapter but it's a very needed chapter in order for other things to happen later on. So for right now, enjoy turning on and off an LED with a sensor. Until next chapter.